The Polk County community is mourning the loss of a young brother and sister tragically killed in a horrific crash on their way to school today. Investigators believe the driver, George Lara, never saw a truck coming down busy U.S. 28. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Race live with what may have led to this crash and really how these teens are being remembered today. Ryan. Yeah, Wendy, I want to show you where this deadly crash happened. This is busy US 27 cars flying in both directions. You can probably understand why when it's still dark out at that morning, a teenager comes out this road and tries to find a lull in traffic to make a left hand turn. Worse yet, these teens lived just a few doors down. Today, heartbreak at Frostproof High. Tears flowing hard for two beloved friends and classmates, George and Melanie Laura. When I first found out, I busted in tears because she was close to me. The brother and sister were on their way to school this morning, but barely made it a block away from home. In their attempt to cross busy U.S. 27, investigators say George never saw this white pickup truck. The twisted, mangled metal and debris-scattered pavement clearly show how hard they hit. The mother heard the crash and went out and went up to the end of the street and passed out when she saw the truck. That thought of mom walking up to the wreckage, hard for any parent to stomach. It's horrible. It's just horrible. Um, I can't even imagine. I have a granddaughter the same age, and I can't imagine. Neighbor Kathy Cash watched the Laura kids grow up, described them as nice and always willing to help out in the neighborhood. Today, administrators at their school put out a touching statement, reading in part, these two students were the epitome of character, honesty, and integrity that we hope all our students strive to be. They touched many lives. Everybody was like crying and running to the guidance counselors and everything. Late today, friends started a memorial, marking the agonizing spot that their parents will have to pass daily. It's got to be absolutely horrifying. They've got to think of it every day when they go to the end of the street. A neighbor tells me that the little sister, Melanie, nine times out of ten, rides the school bus to school and for whatever reason, took a ride with her brother today. The three men in the other truck are expected to survive. Live in Frostproof, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.